Hi, this is Jinnah Ali here and you are watching Jinnah Study MP page and YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss about internet quality and internet constitution, which are very important for any competitive exam such as WBCS, PSC Classic, Subrespect of Police Constable and so on. So our first chapter of internet quality is internet constitutions. So let's start. Uh, before discussing the internet constitution, we should know uh, what is constitution. So please take a look. So this is the actual definition of constitution. The constitution is a foundational law of a country which wardens the fundamental principle on which the government of that country is based. So this is the actual definition of constitution. And before discussing the Indian constitution, we should know the constituent assembly. What is constituent assembly? Actually, uh, constituent assembly is an assembly that uh, you know uh, form our constitution so we have to discuss about the constituent assembly there are so there are you know composition strain and so on so please take a look So constituent assembly is very important for making the Indian constitution. Actually, uh, Ahmed Roy, he gave the idea to make Indian constitution in the year 1934. So the idea, the idea of constituent assembly was given by Amen Roy in 1934. <clears throat> the idea of constituent assembly was given by Amen Roy in 1934. So who who was Amen Roy? Amen Roy is uh, Amen Roy was a you know famous leader and he is one of the leaders of communist party of india so he gave the idea to make indian constitution as well as the constituent assembly in the year 1934 and after 1934 again by in inc that means uh, indian national congress inc gave the idea in 1935 so again in the 1935 indian national congress gave that idea to make constituent assembly and it it is needed to make the constitution finally you all know that the cabinet mission plan the cabinet mission 1946 actually in the year 1946 the british prime minister at least said his you know ministers Betty lawrence Star stafford Graves, 
and Abby Alexander and they and uh, he sent his ministers to India to discuss about the matter of independence as well as the you know the idea of constituent assembly so cabinet mission plan was also responsible for making the constituent assembly and finally in the year in the year 1946 the constituent was formed so in the year 1946 our constituent assembly was formed to make the constitution next uh, we have to know the composition of our constituent assembly Actually, uh, in the composition of Constituent Assembly, there were a uh, total 389 members. So, in Constituent Assembly, there were 389 members and among them, among them, 296 and members and and 86 members sorry and 96 members sorry 93 members Two ninety-six members from British India and ninety-three members from Prince states. So, the, uh, this 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 was you know this was the you know composition of Constituent Assembly, and uh, Constituent Assembly. All members, all members were allotted as per the you know uh, British India and Prince states. So, what is British India? and princely estate actually British India uh, the areas of our country of India uh, was headed by the British so this area is called British India actually this area was you know, headed and governed by the British and the parts which remaining parts which were headed by the you know local prince princes or local uh, kings was called princely state so this is the difference between British India and princely states and now we are going to discuss about the allocation seat allocation actually actually uh, seats to be allocated seats to be allotted in proportion in proportion to population actually uh, all seats were to be allotted in proportion to population actually if any population uh, if the population of any area there is a, suppose there is a uh, 10 lakh population so it should be one you know member so by this process they just you know the seats were allotted so this is the composition of our constituent assembly and now we are going to discuss about the meeting session in constituent assembly there are total 
eleven sessions were held. In the first session was held in the year nineteen nine December nine December two thousand nine December nineteen forty. So in the year in the year nineteen forty six nine December the first lesson was held in Delhi. And in the first session, that there was a president, Dr. Sachidananda Sinha was the first interim president, and he was an interim president. Actually, he was a temporary president. But after that, after the first session, Dr. Rajendra Prasad was the permanent president, and in our constituent assembly, there are many committees. Like there are almost you know, twelve committees, which are very important, you know, to look after our constitution as well as the you know Indian independent. So twelve committees, the most important committees. I just uh, write. Please take a look first. Steering committee. Committee one rule. of rules of procedure so these are the important committees uh, steering committee and committee on rules of procedure was headed by you know dr rajendra poshan so he was the chairman of these committees and now the uh, the another committees are union power committee constitution ad hoc committee on national flag so these three you know union power committee important committee union constitution committee and other committee on national flag were headed by were headed by jawaharlal nehru so this important you know and next on is very important committee drafting committee so drafting committee is one of the most important committee of constituent assembly and uh, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was the chairman of drafting committee. Actually, the committee was formed to draft our constitution. So, uh, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was the chairman of that committee. Finally, this is the composition of constituent assembly. And finally, there was a you know uh, objective resolution. Actually, objective resolution is a uh, you know uh, resolution. that was given by uh, given by dr that that was given by johan pandit jahanlal nehru in the year 13 december 1946 so this is the you know composition of our 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 constituent assembly which are very important which is very important for uh, inner constitution and this is the you know this is the you know strength 
importance of uh, constituent assembly composition of constituent, constituent assembly so uh, this is over now in the next class i will discuss the making of constitution thank you so much and subscribe my channel jinnah study thank you so much